This woman is getting 10 years of my knowledge in literally uh, one day. Definitely not zapping my brain <laughs> I'm Heather Lynn, this is Lena Michalek. Um, if you don't know who she is, she's kind of a professional badass and she kind of came out to teach me how to do all of this. Lena, uh, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, I am a professional competitive shooter. I've been so for about 10 years now. Uh, I have eight world titles and five different shooting disciplines, so I shoot rifle, pistol, shotgun, combinations of those guns, and other things, all the things with the trigger, I do. Uh, I also have two world records and was the first woman to set an NRA certified world record ever. Hell yeah. So I shoot a lot of shit so you, all the time. So you're gonna <laughs> teach me your ways. I'm gonna teach you all my magical ways. We have already done step one. The belt. The belt. <laughs> Automatically. <laughs> Cool fact, it just went out. Yeah, oh yeah. This is my competition shotgun. It's a Mossberg JM 940. This is my competition PCC, or pistol caliber carbine. It's an MPX. This is my backpack gun. This is my main competition pistol. My backup competition pistol. My truck gun. My winter coat carry gun. My normal carry gun. My bag slash I need another truck gun. They all have a purpose. <laughs> Which is, I think you need more guns. I, well, this is just what I brought with me. Oh. <laughs> just drop the slide and we put it in our holster. Okay. Beautiful. How much holster work do you have? Not a lot. Cool. Well, we're going to master that today. Okay. okay. I'm going to take this one. We always dry fire before we go to the range because in my brain, I have to earn my live fire time. Uh, if we just show up on the range, no matter like what level I really feel like you're at, Without dry fire, then we're usually wasting the first couple hundred rounds to even entire day of training. Mm -hmm. Physically getting back in touch with where we need yeah. to be. Like, go. Alright, we uh we made it down to the Black Rifle Coffee Range. Yeah. We're actually uh gonna shoot some stuff. Yeah, Heather's earned her bullets oh, thank through you. much dry fire. Can I have some more? <laughs> Our gun out, okay. put our pistol mag in, okay. rack it, watch our finger, reholster. There you go, finger straight and reholster. We did oh, it. Oh, we did it. We're almost there. <laughs> All right. And whenever you are ready on your own time, okay. you're just going to draw, hit the berm three times. Just consecutively? However you want to do it. Okay. Literally doesn't matter. Okay. These are our getting the nerves out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Forward. Yeah. Are my We're arms just looking good? find our dot anywhere. Okay. And then for you, I just want you to think about feeling your trigger just okay. like you did earlier. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to rack it. I'm going to go okay. like this. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. Finger straight and reholster. Okay. Lovely. Now we've gotten to know the gun because you also have never shot this gun before. Right. Slow, steady press on that trigger, just like you felt earlier. Beautiful. Figure straight reholster. Okay. Very good. So, this time I want you to focus on your elbows. Yeah. All right. Very okay. good. And Let's then give it a go. more. Yeah. Just, just you, you know what to do. Nope. Oh. Okay. Right. Stay on target. Okay. So, like, what happened there is that we got really focused on recoil management. Yeah. And it caused us to overpower the gun. So, we're going to find a nice firm hold, nothing too wiggity wild. Then okay. we're just going to start pressing that trigger. Start slow, continual press on the trigger. Beautiful. There we go. And reholster. So, I'm going to pull the trigger with your finger. Okay. And you're just going to think about what it feels like. Okay. So, we're just going to hold. We're just going to watch the dot. Everything's fine. Everything's chill. Constant motion. Now we're going to let go. Now I'm going to do it one more time. We're going to think about what it feels like on the trigger. Now you're going to go. Cre recreate the same feeling. 
We're not thinking about it. We're not feeling. We're just letting the gun jump because it will, and that is all right. Beautiful. Let the gun jump. Don't. You know nice. what I liked best about that? Okay. On your second shot, yeah. you yeah. had a flinch. Yeah. You paused, it went through like your body, and then you still hit your target. Because you got in control. <laughs> yeah. I loved that. All right. Hell yeah. And again. two mags in and this is already like ninth day. I love it. No, don't. Why, why are we shocked? Let's just identify what we need to do to fix it and keep going. Okay. No head shaking here. Just accept what happens. Ah! No. Okay. Did you see that? That's pretty baller. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. See? We haven't even found our point of failure. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Especially with like ammo being that's the way that it uh, is. Yeah. People are like, I can't shoot a whole bunch. And it's yeah. like, you don't have to. You just have to make what you do mean a whole hell of a lot. Yeah. So Lena taught me uh, her weights. And so I'm going to teach her my coffee weights. This isn't the uh, exact science of making coffee, but it's the way that I do it. Yeah. This is for you. Yeah, this is our, our ECS coffee. We got pink 79. Do you I like, like you like coffee? I do. I'm a hooligan when it comes to coffee. Yeah, as in is. I have yeah. you know this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, as in like I put stuff in my coffee pot and then mm -hmm. I drink it and then I pour more coffee into my coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, she really appreciates it. You pour more coffee as in the yeah. canned coffee. Yeah, I pour canned coffee yeah. into my coffee that okay. I they sent me a scale, and it made me feel like a fancy lady, and every now and then I'll make four over coffee, but I have no idea what I'm doing, but I still feel remarkably proud of myself for yeah. the effort that I put forth. That's good. Me. You should be very proud of So what are we doing? So I've fucked up this measurement three times so far. Nice. What is our goal? <laughs> our goal is, uh, I use 40 grams. I do a 16 to 1 ratio. Um, again, it's not an exact 16 science. 16 to 1 ratio yeah. of what? One so, what? 16 what ratio of <laughs> grams of water to every 1 gram of coffee. And then we dump that in our burr grinder. Um, so, because we've used... I can't see shit. So, because we've used 40 grams of coffee, we're going to use 640 grams of water at 203 degrees Fahrenheit precisely. Typically, you wet your Chemex filter here and then you dump the water out because it gets rid of the paper filtery taste. But we accept the paper but taste we're right now? accepting it now because we don't have a drain. I could dump it off the balcony, but... And now I feel like my coffee's gonna taste like paper if we don't. Okay, so now we have to dump yep. it off of the balcony. Mm -hmm, we do. Okay. We do. I even swirled it before I poured it because really a great. swirl always that, adds. You're already a professional. Thank you. I'm really getting in the mind of judgment. I'm ready to judge oh, other people. Yeah, that's, that's just my that's good coffee. because when you drink your coffee like this, it makes you better than other people. That's exactly yeah. what I was anticipating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you put your Chemex on here, mm -hmm. and then you can tear it out. Or I mean, you don't have to do that right now. Clearly, you can do that after you put the the coffee in there. Gotcha. And then when you tear it out, you can add precisely your 640 grams of 203 degree Fahrenheit water. I should have started this water at the beginning. I didn't know. 
because no, I'm now a we poor have planner. To talk. <clears throat> yeah. What do you want to talk about? Oh gosh. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am sitting here holding the wood duck, so really anything's available. We can yeah. talk about any of it. How's that duck working out for you? It's good. It's good. It's it reminds good. me of my childhood. We're at 203 degrees. Okay. I'm so ready. we're gonna we're gonna do a coffee bloom, which mm -hmm. is I just double the amount of initial coffee. So like. 40 grams of coffee, I'm gonna do 80 grams of this pretentious water. Ah. And then the coffee bloom allows carbon dioxide to escape from their trapped bean prison. So, so we're freers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're liberators. We are. And then you just kinda, and, and then you just continually pour? I do 100 gram increments. You're supposed to time this, you really are. Um, time it too? I, I don't, Damn. because it's like a lot for me. Do we let it sit for any You time? can, but I'm not going to do that because I'm impatient as fuck. Yeah. Usually I have my giant huh. black rifle coffee thermos, mm -hmm. which has a very specific line in which I fill it to and then oh, wow. pour more okay. coffee on top. I don't use coffee creamer, I use this as coffee creamer because it's more caffeine, caffeine, and caffeine. Don't make eye contact with me while I do this. I can I'm going to make eye contact with you. Why do you love shotgun so much? Um, so shotgun, when you suck with shotgun, not only are you slow and miss like you do with pistol and rifle, but with shotgun, usually when your technique is bad, it also hurts. So it's a great motivator yeah. to do better. Right. Because when wrong, you get a nice little, little slap, okay. little bruising. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's why I love shotgun. Nice. That's why I'm so excited to oh, hand you mine. So good. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's do it. The easiest way for me to show you how to stand the shotgun is for me to push on you and you to continually move around and find what works best for your body. Yeah, just shift around, see what works, stand square, stand sideways. There we go. Even just that small shift yeah. helped a lot. When we stand square, the benefits to standing square are that when we're shooting a pistol, it's in the center of our body. Mm -hmm. But now we have a long gun, so we, unless we shot our guns off our sternum, mm -hmm. it doesn't help. Right. Uh, so sideways helps us control the recoil better because it puts all of our body weight behind the gun. Gotcha. So we're shooting, bang, bang. This hand's gonna just rotate under, and we're gonna under. turn the gun. Wait. Put it on top of our shoulder. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And let go. Because this hand will be loaded. Oh, right. So let's get our connection between our chin and our gun. <laughs> You're like, my way! We have a I love it! I love okay. it! So, quad loading. What our goal is for today. So, we'll go from shooting to over the shoulder. We'll grab those four. And then we load two and two. So, you can. Yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> just like that. It's so easy, you guys. So I keep palm pressure on it. As someone told me, then you want to pet your gun. You want to maintain contact and pet your gun. Because mm -hmm. it's a good gun. Mm -hmm. We like it. Yeah. And then we push those two in, and then we retract our hand. We put our thumb on the tip of the next two shells, and we push forward. Uh, Lena's gonna show us uh, some shotgun fuckery. Yeah! Woo. Do that again. That's not what I wanted. I need more ammo. And this is what's wrong with the shotgun. I'm always out. Whenever you're ready, you take the safety off. Give me three shots into the berm. Okay. Smashing our face down. Feeling the weight forward in our feet. Very good, safety back on. Here we go. I want you to bend your elbow a little bit, so Kay. take your arm back just a smidge. Okay. Just because, once again, our when our joints are locked, yeah. we're losing our strength and dexterity. Yeah. So a slight bend. Gotcha. 
beautiful. Safety back on. If you ever teach someone to shoot shotgun internet, things to watch, their feet. <laughs> if you ever see someone shooting and you see their toes coming up in their shoes, that means that their foundation is not solid, so everything's going to be magnified as it comes up the body. So as we shoot, we want to be super conscious of having those toes dug in, that weight forward, and then a full body lock. Keep that, that upper body forward, lock that in, and if that bead's there, send it. Okay. There we go. Getting better, getting better. It's just going to be bang. Come back to our position, find our chin and our elbow. We're going to grab up the top of our caddies, just the tips of our fingers, line up the first two, maintain constant pressure on them, push forward. Line up the next two, push forward, find our target again, push directly back out, and one more round. There we go, over the shoulder, grabbing up at the top of the caddy. Okay. Tips of the fingers, lining them up. There we go. Excellent. Back up. There we go. Your recoil management is on point. I love it. <laughs> Give me six on this silhouette. Okay. Get aggressive. Lean forward. Don't fight it for every shot. Every single shot. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. That's how you shoot shotgun. Yeah. You get aggressive mad. and sweaty. Yeah. Heather, whether or not she knows it, is a fantastic student because you're very physically connected. So like you can see things really immediately. So like I know that when I leave. You're not dependent on me to correct you because mm -hmm. you can catch yourself. Yes. So she yeah. can take this anywhere. She can build on this. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> You're an amazing teacher. <laughs> Subscribe to Lena. Do you have a YouTube? No. No. No, you can just like stalk me anywhere. Okay. In person, not preferred. Yeah. So like anywhere online. That's, Subscribe that's to fine. me. Don't yeah. stalk us. Find Lena on social media. Yeah, my last name is Mitchellick. <laughs> if you find anyone that's female with that last name, it's most likely me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>